All right, I got to show you guys something pretty cool here. So I connected with uh, Chris Young early this afternoon. We've been talking about some Visual Pro stuff. Um, he's got this really cool eye alien character that I immediately gravitated toward. That was really cool. Um, if you want to follow him on YouTube, this is his uh, channel. And I was um, marveling over some of his augmented uh, layover experiments that I saw a couple months ago. So we we finally hooked up and talked, and we were uh, doing some share stuff um, in uh, spatial FaceTime. So after we got off the call, I grabbed his uh, USD model and brought it over to Maya, and I want to do a little mashup. So I added my characters in, and I did a just down and dirty animation, uh, just like separated from the geometry, and um, just did a quick down and dirty uh, cycle here. And then I'm in headset recording this. Check this out. <laughs> it's like having a little model right here. I mean, it looks so real sitting on my desk. And I can actually take this and we will make it uh, before I move it 100%. Let's move it over somewhere where I can. Oh, there's Pickle. Hey, Pickle. Let's move it over here. And let me see if I can go 100%. There we go. Full size. So now I get up and walk around it. Um, I should probably take it outside. Let's see if I can. This is still kind of wonky. Pinching to zoom. There we go. To try to find the window. You got to be patient. There we go. Let's take this. I'm going to move it over here. <laughs> Pickle's like, run it away. Run away for the aliens. Let's put them out here on the grass. And we'll go back to 100%. Come on. There we go. And <laughs> this is where I gotta go walk around them. I put a, uh, I just set it out the geometry a little bit so I can have them like hovering. This, um, these curves are rigged, but these were not the rigged versions. These are just ones that I had thrown into Maya that were already static. So I just kind of had to just do it down and dirty, uh, separate out the, the eyelids to see what. I was trying to make sure I can get all the animation to work, but check this out. I'm like walking around the scene and. My eye pilots are curiously looking at this alien eye creature. So freaking cool. And now let's go into um, immersive mode. So for example, here they are on the moon. Looks what they discovered on the moon. Pretty cool. Actually, you know what? Let me see if I can move this scene a little bit over. Let's grab it. Come on. Ah, there we go. So I can move it over to more flat version. Right. This planting on the ground still is a little bit wonky. How can I, there we go. Back into the moon now. And let's make it. Come on. Click. Come on. It will not let me. There we go. 100%. There we go. I got to back up a little bit here. I don't know why the, um, that's interesting. It keeps on coming in and out, the uh, immersive environment. Come on, click on the damn window. <laughs> ah. Click. There we go. This is kind of really still wonky. I don't know why this is doing this. So quick look. Um, I just want to uh, click once. Grab the bar. This is like the worst way to interact with these models. Ah. Come on. Drag it over here. And then go full size. Okay, and I gotta turn this dial back to get into the moon. It's not doing it. There we go. It's there we go. It's kinda wonky. Yeah. Okay, I'm rambling now too much. But anyhow, I just wanted to show this. That was really cool. Why does it always... Uh. Alright, well anyhow, we're back in reality. Pretty cool. Okay, 